Hi, I'm David from Sales Factory. Our company was founded over 35 years ago with a simple idea. Help brands listen to their end users and solve the problems they face in their daily lives. This philosophy is the secret behind our Winning the PLR series, where we take a deeper dive into winning with the merchant and in the marketplace. We love winning PLRs. In fact, we keep score on this scoreboard that hangs in our office. And I'm proud to say we've added two more wins recently to take our total wins to 123. So far in our seven part Win the PLR series, we have talked about modeling the market, knowing the end user, solving the end user's problems, and how to best position your product and brand to win. Today, we will discuss how to take these learnings and positioning to build a sales program and bring it to life across the consumer's journey and fitting it into the broader context of the retailer's environment. You can't just tell a compelling brand story and have a handful of differentiated products to win. You have to show how you're going to support the customer and retailer all along the way. The retailer will ask you, how are you supporting my customer? And you have to be able to answer those questions. You have to think about it as a program. There are many touch points across the end user's journey that you have to consider and anticipate. You also have to consider how you're going to fit into the retailer's strategy and how you're going to play a role in that to activate against the consumer. Helping the customer on their upfront research to when they get in store or online to the services and support they're going to need on the back end all help drive the purchase and loyalty. First, you have to understand the role of the category at the retailer. Is it about driving top line sales, propping up margin, traffic driving? Appliances, as an example, are a great top line driver. Hardware, on the other end, is about mixing up the margin. So understanding that role of the category is really important. But you also have to understand how each product plays inside the lineup. Is it about driving attention? I remember working on appliances a long time ago and we would put the candy apple red front loaders at the very front of the display. We didn't sell a lot of those, but it was about drawing people in. That was the role of that product. Or is it about having a high-end product at the end of a run to help people see the price points go up higher to help pull them up the line? Understanding that role of the product as well as the role of the category will help you succeed in the merchant's eyes. So once you have an understanding of the role of the category and the role that your products are going to play, it's really important to understand the key touch points of, for the end user. You can do this with a path to purchase study that will map the moments and the most influential aspects of that journey and help you know how to build a program around that to drive the most success. Armed with all this context, you can begin to build your program, thinking about the journey that the customer goes through. One framework that we've talked about before is learn, shop, buy. Understanding what people need as they approach the learning phase, the tools that they need as they hit the shopping phase, and the line design and the promo strategy that helps them through the buying stage and gets that right product at the right price point mix that the retailer wants will help set you up for success in the PLR. In the learn phase, what are ways to win before the end user even gets to the aisle or the website? Thinking about your online content, your brand, show how you're building helpful content for the end user and how you will have a plan to drive people to that content through organic, paid search, and advertising. As they move to the shop phase, illustrate to the merchant how your learning content will have a smooth handoff to the price and product info. Show how the end user will step up a well-designed line and drive their ASP up. Include promotion strategies that help maximize the productivity of the line. And finally, don't forget the associates. A well-trained associate can help give the merchant confidence in your program and help ensure success. As a consumer hits the buy phase, show the merchant that you aren't short-sighted. This isn't about getting that one-time sale, but it's about supporting that customer all the way through, supporting the stores with execution and the end users with after-sale service so that consumers will want to come back again and again to support both your products and the retailer. The key takeaways for building a program that will win the PLR, understand your retailer's role of the category and their product needs. Know that end user, their pain points, their needs. You want to show the retailer how you're going to help that end user learn about the category and get their attention so that they choose that retailer. Have a plan for content that helps that end user with the most critical information at the most critical times so that they make the best product decisions. And at that moment of decision, 
have a line design and a promotion strategy that facilitates easy step-ups for the consumer and drives that ASP higher. Finally, have a program to support the retailer and end users after the sale. This will help drive affinity and repeat sales for years to come. Thanks for your time today. We'd love to hear from you if you have questions about today's topic or any other PLR questions. And be on the lookout for our next segment, which will be about making it meaningful and making it memorable.